Migrating to plant-based foods, including alternative meat, could have a significant impact on our ability to stay climate ready. And now a team of researchers at Stanford is working to unlock an important secret to making that happen, taste. Just watching someone bite into a burger, you can probably imagine how it tastes. But there's more to that memory than flavor. There's also the experience you get biting into it. Pull it apart. It's like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. there you can see it. And now a research team at Stanford is unraveling the role that texture plays in how we experience taste and the foods we eat. And their discoveries could ultimately help alternatives like plant-based meat to seem a lot more like the real thing. The chewiness, the way it responds to um, biting, how you break it, the viscosity, how much water comes out of it when you bite. So all kind of the rheology, the mechanical properties of it. Professor Ellen Kuhl says the team is studying a variety of processed meat and meat alternatives, mixing mechanical measurements with AI to map their characteristics. And we can say, okay, if we want this certain desired properties, can we have an AI that gives us the formula for the product? So if you tell me, I like the taste of this, ideally we want to design an AI that tells you, okay, this is exactly how we have to make the product. When we test, we create something like this, we a nice square sample. Team member Skylar St. Pierre sliced up a quick sample to place on a benchtop stretcher. The instrument delicately pulls the slice on all four sides until it finally tears, streaming data on its strength into a software model monitored by colleague Jeremy McCulloch. And when you see the force go down, that is how you can tell uh, that the materials failed. By using a number of instruments to pull, squish, and analyze, the team is developing a kind of three-dimensional database that startups and alternative food producers could leverage to improve their products. And what we try to do is we make it open source so that little startups can jump in, can to produce something, and they can compare it against a whole library of data that we've collected and make it open source available for people to participate. For the student team, it's a mission to change the world we live in by changing the food we eat. And so actually some of the products people did not like that much, but that's actually an opportunity for us to come in and say, hey, maybe this is the reason that people don't like them. Maybe they're too soft, maybe they're not soft enough. Yeah, so for me it was really more thinking about the environment, um, especially as Americans, we're known for eating and over-consuming meat relative to the rest of the global population. Eating habits they hope to tweak by discovering why we enjoy the foods we do. And while the engineering team is focused on texture, they say other labs could potentially add data on chemistry of flavor, creating an even more detailed artificial intelligence recipe book for alternative 